Hello one, and now what's going on right now with the whole Halo situation? And now, if you don't know, 343 has just announced that Halo Infinite will not have campaign co op or Forge at release. Like, they will come later, they will not be at release. And a lot of people are freaking out about it. And fr frankly, this entire situation, it to me, it to me, it highlights why I don't like fan bases. This, this entire situation highlights exactly why I do not like fan bases. Now, I like certain people in fan bases, and I like certain parts of fan bases. But overall, I do not like fan bases, and this very much highlights why. Because even the most okay, frankly, this is not an issue. This is not an issue, but people are freaking out about it anyway. Look, I I understand that that people play Halo with co-op. I understand people do that. I understand people also play Forge, but it's not an issue. You can still play Halo Infinite. You can still play the campaign. You can still play the multiplayer. It's not an issue. But people are freaking out about it like it's going to like it's the end of Halo. And I, I've complained. I I I have complained about the Halo community a lot. But f frankly, this goes for every fan base because every fan base does this. The Halo fan base does this. Fallout fan base does this. Assassin's Creed fan base does this. Dark Souls fan base do this. And in my opinion, the Soul, the Dark Souls fan base, is actually one of the best fan bases out there. Combining Dark Souls with Bloodborne, so like the Souls uh, games. Like that fan base is, in my opinion, the best fan base out there. But even they are very much like this, where even the most little thing they will they complain about, and act like it's the end of the world. And it it frustrates me. Some people are even saying that three for three should delay Halo Infinite. And it's like, are you kidding me? You you guys freak you guys freaked out and screamed the first time they did it, the first time they delayed Halo Infinite. Halo fans screamed the. The highs out that Halo that Halo Infinite was delayed, and now they're now they're saying three for three delay the game even more, so so that way campaign co op and Forge can be in the game. But, but meanwhile, if they did that, they would complain that three for three is taking too long, and this is a bad sign for Halo. And, and again, every fan base is like this. Like every fan base has this problem where they freak out the most about the most little thing. The Fallout fan base, for example. They, Fallout fan base, they, like some, somebody like the Brotherhood still being in Fallout 76, they they complain about, oh, you, like, they complain about Bethesda ruining the lore of Fallout, but it's like, y you know, the Brotherhood can exist in other places other than the West Coast, right? But yes, what we know as a Brotherhood started in the West Coast. But they can exist other places. They, they, they can very much exist in the East Coast. But as a different Brotherhood still that ultimately failed until the, until Lions' Brotherhood came over from Fallout 3. But these, these people freak out about every single thing. And it, it's just like... Like every single thing people freak out about. And it, it, it makes me frustrated. And all that, like Assassin's Creed, everyone everyone complains that the uh, uh like, like newer characters aren't Ezio, but then you make a character like Ezio, everyone complains about it because I I that was very much the argument with like Jacob and like Jacob Fi and all that, and just like like fan, fan bases they just complain all the time, and it's very much this is my frustration with fan bases is look. There are some people in, in fan bases that I like. There are certain parts of fan bases I like. I really like the Dark Souls and Bloodborne fan base. I like, I love the Souls fan base, and in my fan, in my opinion, they are the best fan base out there. The fan base of Dark Souls one, two, three, and Bloodborne, they have the it's the best fan base. But even then, I have a lot of issues with them. I have a lot of issues with the Halo community. I've complained about them all the time. I have issues with, with issues with the Call of Duty fan base, with the Assassin's Creed fan base, with the We Happy, with, with the very few people I've seen talk about We Happy Few. But okay, We Happy Few's fan base, I don't really have an issue with because it seems like I'm the only person who played that game. So, like, I have not seen anyone talk about the game. But 
like Red Dead Redemption, I have issues with. Like every fan base, I have an issue. Like I have an issue with basically every fan base, but like some more than others. And it's just overall, this entire situation highlights why I do not like these fan bases, because they freak out about the most little thing, and anything these companies do is bad. Any anything these companies are doing, no matter what it is, it. It means that it's bad. It means that the game is ruined. It means that the game is is in trouble. Like, like Halo Infinite is not in trouble. It's not. I'm positive that the campaign and multiplayer are going to be fantastic. Like, I'm positive about that. But pe- people freak out about the most little thing. The most little thing people freak out about and go crazy. And, like, I... Three for three could literally come out and say Master Chief cannot swim in Halo Infinite, and and people would say that Halo Infinite is in trouble. I just find it annoying, and it's very, it highlights my issue with just fan bases in general. Now, yes, I do have more, I do have more problems with the Halo community than any other community since Halo used to be my favorite franchise, and a big reason why it's not is it's not because of the games, and not because my love for the games have gone down. Not at all. My my love for the games are still very much where they are, but it's the fan base. The fan base has gotten me so annoyed and like so frustrated, angry at them, that my love for Halo has gone down. Like it's it's not even my favorite fan franchise anymore. Anymore, it's now my fifth favorite franchise. So, it, and the thing thing is, every fan base is like this. Every fan base like gets me frustrated. Every fan base annoys me. It makes me angry. Just every fan base out there, I have some. I have some issue with. I have some issue with every fan base out there, and this moment right here with Halo, it's it really highlights it. It really highlights basically my problem with just fan bases as a whole, and why overall they frustrate me and why I overall don't like fan bases. So, and like frankly, I I think Halo Infinite is going to be great. I still think it's going to be great. And I, I, I wish these people would shut up because you, you, want, you want to know what would happen if, hey, let, let's say 343 did delay Halo Infinite. These people would be screaming at the top of their lungs, Halo is dead, 343 ruined it. This, this means trouble for Halo Infinite because that's what they did the first time. Again, Halo fa- 343 isn't killing Halo, Halo fans are. And the thing is, this also goes for other fan bases, like other fan bases. Like I think Bethesda's doing a great job with Fallout, but Fallout fans they scream about everything. Hell, people are, people scream about how you can't kill kids in those games, and it's ridiculous. Man, like, this entire moment just highlights why I do not like fan bases overall, and why they they just frustrate me and make me angry. Like I really do not like fan bases.